Welcome back. Roasted vegetables are so good if they're done right. Charmian and Christy is back on the news at noon with some tips to make sure your veggies taste great. Welcome. It's great to Thank have you, you back. Great to be back. Now, what's more important, the way that you roast them or the seasoning? Um, both are important, but the way that you roast it is probably most important because the seasoning can vary, but the way you roast them is pretty standard. Okay. So the tips uh, to roast any vegetable, and I'm not sure if you want to take here, a look, yeah, there's just, a yeah, big perfect. variety here. You can see I've roasted green beans, sweet potatoes, I've done carrots, cauliflower, and I've done some eggplant. They're all done differently. This has rosemary, this has garlic and ginger, and this has some Indian spices. So there's all sorts of variations. Okay, so what, how did you roast them? Well, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a vegetable that's of uniform size. So the sweet potatoes are all cut one way, the cauliflower is all cut another way. I've sh um, done the uh, carrots in little long slivers, but they're all uniform. Right. So I'm not mixing that up. Then you want to make sure that you have just enough oil to seal in the vegetable but not make it soggy. Not enough oil and they'll dry out. Okay. Your oven needs to be hot when you put the vegetables in, so a 400 degree oven preheated before you start the chopping. And then the only real secret is that you want it on a pan that is flat and it's a single layer of vegetables. If you start piling them up, what they're going to do is they're going to steam as opposed to roasting. Oh. And the roasting gives them the caramelized flavors. It takes the sugars that are natural within the vegetable and it uh, caramelizes them so they're sweeter and they're crisper. So do you then go through and try to flip them? You can flip them every 15 to 20 minutes until they're done. Okay. And then so the technique is the most important and then the seasoning is up to you. And I guess the same goes for on the barbecue. Uh, that, that would way. be grilled. Uh, you'd grill them on the barbecue. Oh, okay. Whereas so the you roasting just put is the a hot lid oven. Down on yep. the, okay. Yeah, you could do it that way. I grilled these in the oven, and I have a gas oven, but you can do it in a, an electric oven just as easily because mm -hmm. it's the heat that you want. Okay. So what do you do for seasoning? Seasoning. The simplest seasoning is you would put the oil on, which is uh, either olive oil or canola. You can use a combination of both and some people put a little bit of butter in for extra flavor. That's entirely up to you. Okay. Salt and pepper to taste is the absolute minimum and then you can do anything you like with herbs and vegetables. So I've brought in some fresh herbs here and we have thyme. It's some fresh thyme. I don't know whether you can smell it. Very yeah, simple. So All you right do up. Is run your finger down the time and it comes off. Oh, it's just like that. So you just don't need like to that. actually you don't try want and cut the, it all off. No, you don't want the woody pieces. You want these little teeny tiny leaves and you don't have to chop the thyme. Okay. I brought in some fresh rosemary and again you just strip it off and you can oh, see right, how like that. that is now it's a nice that woody clean, piece yeah. is clean. I would then chop that little bit of rosemary, those pieces are too big. If you want to chop, I can give you a knife if sure. you want. To and I guess that. a lot of it comes down to uh, personal preference, right? Personal preference. Um, my husband doesn't like rosemary very much. I adore it. So uh, I put a little extra on my end of the of the uh, pan. Can you tell I don't do much of this at home? That's okay. One that trick. Obvious? Yeah, it's you got um, a trick? better than the potato peeler the last time. <laughs> but yeah, keep your fingers out of the way. You can also, there's a trick where you just pivot. And chop. What, like just go like that? Yeah. Keep your fingers out of the way. You're worried, aren't you? I am. I'm actually worried about it. I used to work at Cultures. I, 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 okay. I know a little You're bit. You're okay. But uh, yeah. yeah, no, I don't want to get my fingers in there. Yeah. I'm now going to risk your fingers with, I'm going to give you a microplane. Okay. And I'm going to put yours on uh -oh. top of one. Okay. And I've got a microplane for me. I'm going to put it over a bowl. And I've got two pieces of frozen ginger. I keep ginger in the freezer at all times because it's fresh, all, always fresh, it doesn't go bad. And on a microplane, all you have to do is grate it and you don't have a problem with the woody texture that you would get with fresh ginger. And I've got oh, I see. beautiful okay. fresh ginger, it's just like powder, falls into the bowl if you can see it. Fresh ginger goes on the carrots, into the oil with the carrots. And really brings out the flavor. Brings out the flavor and you don't have to peel it and you don't have to worry about pulling all those little woody bits out. Oh, fantastic. And you can do the same with the garlic. I just, oh, now of course I won't open it very well. <laughs> open up the garlic and take the skin off. I'm making a mess of your studio. That's okay. We don't mind. Make a mess. I put in this little rubber now what roller. what is this? It's just a little roller that skins it. Oh, look at that. Pop it out. And then the microplane with the garlic. And just mix it all up in a bowl like that. <clears throat> yep. That's no, fantastic. No need to get out the garlic press, which gets dirty. And the garlic and the fresh ginger are combined together. You put it into the oil and toss your carrots in that. And then you're all set. And 
about 40 minutes in a 400 degree oven, 45 to an hour, and they cook up beautifully. They Fantastic. roast up. You know, yeah. lots of people at home will be making this tonight. Thank you very I much. I hope so. Some great tips. Okay. There's the website. Yeah. Uh, fantastic blog. Please check it out. Christie'sCorner.com. And of course, uh, we mentioned this before, no relations, so there's no favoritism no, going on. No, not here. at all. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ahead in sports with Randy, a Junior B hockey showdown between Cambridge and Brantford. Stay with us.